I'm so tap tap, and uh, I was lucky enough to get the fall update finally, and uh, look what I found! It's the stupid marlins everybody hates. So when you get a striped marlin, um, what you want to do is just immediately open the camera, take a picture, it doesn't matter of what, and then it turns out when you're in the freeze frame state, you can still pan around and stuff, and then what you can do is click on another fish to focus on it, click retake photo, click take the photo again real quick, and there we have our picture of the little marlins. Okay, there we go. So, this is the fall update. It is actually pretty cool. It's it's like a better version of what the spring update was, kind of. Um, give me a second to take out all of the event fish. I uh, What I usually do for events, uh, this I have videos on this, but uh, what I do is take out the jellyfish, and the jellyfish are the easiest things to get the... Uh, the leaves in this event, whatever event currency, because uh, they float in the same area, and then you want to just only tap for event currency when the Song of the Moon is active, because that multiplies how much stuff you get. So, uh, and a Spirit of Life the, from the daily mission also helps a lot. So uh, now I can complete this freaking event. I was hoping to wait until I could do this. Um, the event unfortunately does have a Striped Marlin unlock, as we just saw at the beginning of the video. Um, Give me one second here, and we will, uh... Oh, don't move away. Oh, man. You move the camera controls on, on, you know, it's... I'm using an Android emulator, and it's not super easy to try to use the camera here. Oh, man, they're so fast. All right, I was going to make a few of them, because I wanted a few anyway. They're so cheap, too, which is nice. Um, this event is really cool. It has these constellation fish, as you can see, and also fall leaves fish. I was figuring we would just have the fall leaf fish. Um, yeah, let me... Got my guide over here in a thing. Part of the reason I make guides is so I can use my own guide to refer to, because sometimes the information is just not there and I need it. Um, there's a marlin. No, marlins, please. Please. Okay. So, striped marlin. Share pictures of Striped Marlin three times. Okay. So there's five hidden fish in this uh, event. There's 16 total, one premium fish, 10 normal fish, and um, five hidden ones. So that should get, yep, the light jellyfish, which seems like a stretched out version of the, um, um, the flan jellyfish from the last event. I really like this. This event is a lot better than the, uh, than the last event. Uh, I was pretty disappointed with the anniversary event, and so this has been this has been a nice change of pace. So they also reduced the total cost. The total cost of the last event was 262,000 candies, if I recall correctly. This one is 64,000 candies, so uh, less than a fourth of the total cost. And um, yeah, because of the last event, I actually saved up 300,000 things just to be absolutely sure I could get the stuff as fast as possible and I have not needed even a fraction of that. Well, obviously I needed a fraction of it, but you, you know what I mean. Um, hyperbole and so on. If you just give me a second here, we will have all of the, fi the fish. We just need to do that and we will get fall for, or no, the fall forest football fish, which is kind of cute. Uh, I've been getting kind of tired of the Dumbo octopus and the football fish reappearing in every event, but the ones for this event are pretty neat, actually. Uh, I like the little mushroom on the Dumbo octopus. I like the little acorn he's got on his, his little thinger. I, I was expecting there to be leaf fish, and I expected to hate them. And the, the, the fish that are just are literally lumps of leaves are kind of a little boring. But other than that, things are pretty cool on all the starfish. Oh, I gotta use the moon song. There we go. So now we unlock the forest whale. Oh yeah, and this theme, the themes for this thing is, are really pretty. Um, so there's this like, I don't know, what is it with fall and constellations, by the way? We, we, I guess I haven't been, ever been much of a big star watcher, but you get this pretty nebula in the background. You get all these constellation fish. I think Night in the Woods had like a fall, like star watching mini game. I live in like a medium, like, medium-sized city, I guess you would say. Like, not, like, you know, medium compared to New York City or anything like that, but 
we get enough light pollution to not really see stars super well. Like, it's not completely terrible, but uh, not the easiest place to watch stars. I really like this forest whale. This is, in my opinion, what the uh, spring whale should have been like. Like, an island with stuff growing on it. So yeah, let's just go through the list here real quick. There's still one more fish. Would you sit down, Parker, please? I don't think he wants to sit down. Um, so yeah, let's just go through the list. So you got the fall fairy fish. That's your basic one. You got your starfish. Um, those are both the cheap ones that you'll probably be using to buy the... Um, some of these require, like, have 40 event fish. You'll probably be buying lots of those. The star striped marlin, which you have to watch ads 15 times, and then you got to take a photo of the striped marlin after it appears. Um, I've heard that it appears pretty consistently after you watch the 15th ad, 30 minutes after you watch it. And it just so happens that you get ads every 30 minutes. So I would watch that timer, I guess. Um, leave the app open if you can, and watch that timer. If you close the app, the timer will get out of sync. But just 30 in-game minutes after you watch that 15th ad, I guess is when it shows up. Um, I missed the timer. Um, and it just kind of appeared. I think it's much more common than the normal striped marlin, and it just swims all over the screen. It did not do the thing where some people report where it just stays at the top and it's completely, you can't see it in this view. So, I wouldn't worry as much about it as I was fearing. Um, it seems reasonably common. And you can't do it, f watching ads 15 times, that's like seven and a half hours worth of ads if you watch every one immediately. So, uh, it'll take a while to get that thing, so it's... The events usually last about four weeks to answer a common question. We don't know the exact end date until they announce it, which is usually like a week before it ends. But you usually have like four weeks, so don't panic too much. Um, I also have a video, just search Sir Tap Tap event currency and you'll find a video where I show you the best way to get event currency. I don't really want to repeat it too much. Um, the Fall Forest Dumbo, like I said, it's got a little cute mushroom hat on him. Um, you just own five of the Fall Forest Fairy. They, they avoid them being, you know, just literally piles of leaves, but they're forest fairies, which just happen to look exactly like piles of leaves. Um, there's the star turtle, where you own five of those star sickle fish. Light jellyfish, you need to share a photo of the star striped marlin three times, unfortunately. So, half of your progress in this event is unfortunately gated by the star stri striped marlin. So, there's only so fast you can get all of this stuff. Fall football fish, again, you own five light jellyfish. So this one is, again, dependent on the striped marlin. Star Dolphin, own 30 fall event fish. Pretty basic one. As far as the generic dolphins go, I think the dolphin is okay in this one. Um, decorate with a cloud and moon theme and share the star of Dol You see, you just gotta share photos of Star Dolphin when you're equipping the, uh, the fall moon theme. Which is not a moon at all, but rather a nebula, but whatever. Um, just because everybody, somebody always misses this. The the themes are in this menu. You close the main menu, open the pa the painter's palette, and you just go down here. And for every new event, there's always a costume, a die, and a theme. Just buy all of them and equip them immediately. It helps you put it helps put you in the mood. And there's always unlocks tied to them, so just buy them immediately. They're cheap, and they're fun to have. And you you can use them forever if you buy them during the event. But if you miss them during the event, they're gone for good. And events don't repeat. Um, this last month, October's event was Halloween, uh, so events don't repeat, so, uh, you're SOL if you don't get the stuff, so, yeah. Um, Star Ray is, that's that, what I was talking about, Cloud and Moon, three, share the thing three times. Fall Forest Ray is, you gotta own 40 fish for the fall event, and I gotta say, the Star Ray, the, the Fall Forest Ray is not as terrible as, like, as far as a leaf thing is, it looks kind of okay. Let me just make one here. Zoom it around. I think the, the general fish design is a lot cooler in this one. Like, yes, he is a leaf, but as far as making it into a leaf, they did a, a decent enough job. And they didn't go overboard. Not everything is leaves. I really like the star constellation fish. The constellation fish kind of cancel out the dumbness of the leaves. Star ocean sunfish. Unfortunately, you have to click 200 maple leaves of the star ray fish. Um, the best way to do that is to go into this expand mode and you kind of chase them down. I would store everything and buy three of the rays, if you can afford that, and then just click after them. It's uh, boring work, but it does work. And yeah, some people had conspiracy theories about the expand thing, making the things not count, and I confirmed because of this event, it does actually track them in here. Uh, when you're in expand, it does track the clicking on things. 
By the way, no, you can't get the, 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 the legendary sunfish has been completely removed from the game. It's not even in the fish list anymore. Um, people keep, people, people are asking about it again. I'm not sure why, because like, they made it pretty clear it was only back for the event. But now, it's completely gone now, and we can't even make it if we unlocked it before the event. There's, this, this list is way too big at this point. But yeah, it's completely gone from the game. Even if you earned it, you can't make any more. It's kind of butt crap. Anyway, far, for, bleh, bleh, bleh. Fall Force Narwhal, uh, decorate the maple fashion. I think that's the tr tree costume thing. I think that's the, yeah. Like I said, just wear all of the things immediately. It just makes your life easier. And share the Fall Force Dre photo three times. Uh, Fall Force Whale, you gotta own all event fish, which does include the Marlin. So again, you're limited. There's like four fish that require the Marlin, um, plus the Marlin itself. So like I said, like half. And we also have to make five of these Fall Forest Whales, which is pretty expensive, but I'm looking forward to this Star Whale. I have, this is the one fish I have not seen until just now. So you gotta make five Forest Whales. And it does seem excessive, but when you think about it, one anniversary whale was 200,000, or 20,000 um, cake in the last event. So buying these five whales is only a bit more expensive than buying a single whale in the last event. And you had to buy five in the last event as well. So the last event was frankly awful. And I'm really, really glad that they went back. So you gotta own five forest whale to make the actual ultimate thing. So don't think you're done just because you have the, the whale for this time. You have to make the star whale, which is pretty cool. I like that they're transparent. I was afraid they were just like, like all geometry-ish. You know, low poly like the rest of the game, but I, I was afraid that they just had gray stuff inside them. But no, they're transparent and they look really cool. So yeah, that is all of the fall stuff. Um, oh, one more thing, I, since people ask if I don't show them. There is also the paid thing, which is a unicorn, which, you know, unicorns are known for going underwater and, uh, you know doing their thing. I'm sure there was a My Little Pony episode where they went underwater, so there you go. That's your evidence that unicorns can go underwater. Um, yeah. But uh, also the Corgi and Rabbit Diver are back. I don't know if they're back forever, but the Rabbit Diver has been back for about a full month now, I think, because it came back with the Fusion Fish update. Um, so yeah, if you want to get these, they don't give you the double... Um, if you pay 10 bucks for the limited event fish thing, because unicorns are fish now, um, it only doubles for that one event. So like the graduating corgi doesn't do anything other than, you know, slight discount for buying fish. And that the discount for buying fish decreases pretty quickly. I am tempted to get the rabbit. I do like a good bun, but um, the unicorn is a bit, you know. I mean, people like unicorns, put them in your game. Doesn't matter what your game is, just, you know. Put a unicorn in there. People buy it. I don't know. I mean, if people paid one hundred dollars for a mermaid. I mean, somebody's gonna pay ten bucks for a unicorn. I mean, I know Parker. That's right. So yeah, that is the fall event. Um, that's pretty much all there is to show. Um, I have a couple videos. If this is your first event, I have a couple other videos in my Bistrium playlist that uh, explain all the deal about events in, in general. And um, there'll be a little card at the end of this video that'll take you to that uh, playlist too. So watch that if you want. That's right, Parker. Yes. Oh, do you want the pets? Oh, you want the pets? Oh, you want the bites. Okay. <laughs> Point taken. All right. Thank you, Parker. And thanks for watching, everybody. Oh, and one last less fun note. Um, I've noticed that people on YouTube are, <laughs> this is pretty specific to YouTube, but people get kind of rude when asking for information on here, and I just gotta say, remember, people who make videos on YouTube, we are people, we do have other things to do, we do make videos that are not videos of the only game in the entire universe that you care about, so, um, please don't, like, make sure that you, like, People do this thing where they only comment on the newest video, even though it's completely irrelevant to the question. Don't do that. Comment on an Abyssrium video if you have an Abyssrium question. Um, 
I, I read all of my comments, I get notifications, it doesn't matter where you put the comment, but it's really annoying to have incorrect, like, comments on totally off topic. Um, people also just, phrasing is a lot ruder on YouTube, I don't exactly know why that is. I try to keep my comments on YouTube pretty, you know, calm and reasonable. If people are being complete jerks, I remove it. If people are big, first comment, I remove those, so don't do that. And if people make a habit of posting the first comment thing and that's all they do, uh, th they'll get banned. I'm not really afraid to ban people who just dump garbage in my comment section. Um, but yeah, it's, just remember, you're talking to a real person here who does have other things to do. Like, on Facebook and on my site's comments, this isn't really rude. Like, I think people are just used to YouTube being kind of a crap hole. And that's not really how my channel works. And also when I do live streams, like, almost guaranteed, there'll be one person in every live stream who begs for a shout-out, and another person who whines that I'm not playing Abyssrium. Uh, th those people are gonna get start getting permabanned, like... I'm really tempted to go first offense permaban for those things, because there's really no excuse for that. If you are upset that a video is not an Abyssrium video, please go and watch an Abyssrium video, because I have like 40 of them at this point. And if you have like a genuine idea for a new Abyssrium video, go and comment on an Abyssrium video and be like, hey, you could do a video on this and that would be cool. Don't just be like, what's this game? I don't like this video game. You should play the video game I like because I'm the only person that matters. Like, I'm sorry, but I don't know why people, I don't, like I said, I think it's a YouTube thing. I think it's like people just get used to YouTube being full of crap and they just kind of instinctively act crappy. I don't know. It's it's kind of why I try to keep my comments clean because I, I find that when you keep comments clean, people are less idiotic uh, in response. People just kind of test the water and if they see everybody else being a jerk ass, they're just like, yeah, I'll be like that. And when they see everybody else being kind of polite, they're kind of like, oh, maybe this is not a place to be jerk ass. But yeah, this, this channel's comments is not a place to be a jerk ass and uh, frankly, I, I will. <laughs> I will be perma-banning people who significantly abuse that. It's really not hard. If you wouldn't say it in real life, don't say it online, because online is real life, despite what lots of people want to believe. But yeah, sorry for the little rant, but I do try to keep my YouTube channel clean, and I do love helping people in Abyssrium and everything, but when it kind of spills over into all of my other stuff and people are fairly rude about it, I really gotta say something. But yeah, hope everybody enjoys the event. I think it's pretty much the best event since, um, I don't know, honestly, this might be my second favorite event after the Halloween or Christmas one. Um, I guess that would make it the third favorite. But yeah, it's definitely in the top half of events. I would say it's better than the spring and definitely the anniversary. I would say the anniversary event was the worst one, even ignoring the cost. But yeah, that's how you get all of the fish. Uh, remember, you've got like four weeks to get all of them. Um, oh, oh crap, I should have mentioned this earlier. So, the way Abyssrium does rollouts is that like 1% of people get it on day one, like 5% of people get it on day two, etc, etc. And then like a week after the first people report getting an update, then like everybody gets it. So, you are absolutely not alone if you don't have this update. Don't worry about it at all. There's nothing you can do short of finding a pirated APK and installing it. Uh, other than just wait. It's totally random. I've gotten things early before. I've ended up not getting things early before. It's just totally random. So don't worry about it too much. Um, you'll still have your four weeks. I'm betting, like they tend to do an update at the very beginning of the next month. So you probably have to the end of October. And that's plenty of time considering this is a moderately cheap event. It's not the cheapest. The Halloween event was extremely cheap and I miss it. But uh, that was kind of their first event, and they were kind of trying things out. But uh, yeah, that's a fall update. That's a lot longer than I expected to talk about that. But yeah, thanks for watching.